Folliculitis is a skin condition that occurs when the hair follicles become inflamed. It is a common condition that affects people of all ages, although it is more prevalent in people who have conditions such as diabetes or a weakened immune system. In this video, we will introduce folliculitis definition, its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, complications, treatment options, and prognosis. By the way, welcome to our channel, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe. Signs and Symptoms of Folliculitis The signs and symptoms of folliculitis include Red, tender, or inflamed bumps or pimples around hair follicles Itching or burning sensation at the affected site Pustules or white-headed pimples filled with pus In severe cases, the formation of abscesses or boils Scaling or crusting of the skin Pain or tenderness at the affected site swelling of the affected area. It's important to note that symptoms of folliculitis can range from mild to severe and can spread to other areas of the skin if left untreated. Folliculitis causes. Folliculitis can be caused by several factors, including bacterial infection, most commonly caused by Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. Fungal infection, some types of yeast or fungus can cause folliculitis. Irritation from shaving or wearing tight clothing, this can cause the hair follicles to become damaged, increasing the risk of infection. Weak immune system, people with diabetes or human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, are at higher risk of developing folliculitis. Other factors, such as hair treatments, cosmetics, or skin irritants, can also contribute to the development of folliculitis. It's important to know early treatment can help prevent complications and reduce the risk of spreading the infection to other areas of the skin. Types of folliculitis. There are several types of folliculitis, including bacterial folliculitis, caused by a bacterial infection, most commonly Staphylococcus aureus. Fungal folliculitis, caused by a fungal infection, such as yeast or dermatophytes. Hot tub folliculitis, also known as Pseudomonas folliculitis, it is caused by bacteria found in contaminated hot tubs and pools. Razor bumps, caused by shaving, particularly in people with curly hair. Barber's itch, an infection of the beard area that results from close shaving. Eosinophilic folliculitis, a type of folliculitis that occurs in people with weakened immune systems, such as those with HIV. Gram-negative folliculitis, a type of folliculitis caused by gram-negative bacteria, commonly seen in people with acne who are taking antibiotics. How is folliculitis diagnosed? Folliculitis is typically diagnosed through a combination of a physical examination and laboratory tests. The doctor may perform the following steps to diagnose folliculitis. Physical examination, the doctor will examine the affected area and look for red, inflamed bumps, pimples, or abscesses. Medical history, the doctor will ask about the symptoms, including the duration and severity, as well as any possible triggers or underlying medical conditions. Skin swab or biopsy, the doctor may take a sample of the affected skin and send it to a laboratory for testing. This can help determine the cause of the folliculitis, such as a bacterial or fungal infection. Blood tests, in some cases, the doctor may order a blood test to check for underlying medical conditions that may be contributing to the folliculitis. What are the complications of folliculitis? Folliculitis can lead to several complications, including Scarring Folliculitis can cause scarring, particularly if the infection is not treated promptly or if there is a recurrent infection. Recurrent infections Folliculitis can recur, mainly if the underlying cause is not addressed. Spread of infection The infection can spread to other areas of the skin, leading to more extensive outbreaks. Cellulitis in severe cases, folliculitis can progress to cellulitis, a more serious skin infection that can spread to deeper tissues and potentially cause serious health complications. Hair loss. Folliculitis can cause hair loss if the hair follicles are severely damaged or infected. Allergic reactions. 
In rare cases, some people may develop an allergic reaction to the medications used to treat folliculitis, such as topical or oral antibiotics. Treatment Options of Folliculitis Folliculitis is a skin condition that occurs when hair follicles become inflamed. It can be caused by various factors such as bacterial infection, yeast infection, or skin irritation. There are several treatment options available, including Antibiotics. If the cause of folliculitis is a bacterial infection, your doctor may prescribe topical or oral antibiotics to help clear the infection. Topical antifungals. If a fungal infection is causing the folliculitis, your doctor may prescribe a topical antifungal cream or lotion to be applied directly to the affected area. Topical corticosteroids. Corticosteroids can help reduce inflammation and itching associated with folliculitis. They may be used in combination with other treatments. Warm compresses. Soaking a clean cloth in warm water and applying it to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes several times a day can help reduce itching and discomfort. Avoiding irritants. To prevent further irritation and reduce the risk of folliculitis, it's important to avoid any irritants such as tight clothing or certain soaps and shampoos. It's important to note that not all folliculitis cases respond to over-the-counter treatments, and some may require prescription medications or a combination of treatments. Folliculitis Home Remedies While some mild cases of folliculitis may improve with home remedies, it's important to see a doctor for proper diagnosis and treatment, especially if the condition is severe or spreading. However, here are some home remedies that may help alleviate the symptoms of folliculitis. Warm compresses. Soaking a clean cloth in warm water and applying it to the affected area for 10 to 15 minutes several times a day can help reduce itching and discomfort. Tea tree oil. Tea tree oil has antiseptic properties that may help reduce the risk of infection and promote healing. Dilute the oil with a carrier oil such as coconut oil and apply it directly to the affected area. Apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has antibacterial and antifungal properties that may help reduce the risk of infection and promote healing. Dilute the vinegar with water and apply it to the affected area using a cotton ball. Aloe vera. Aloe vera has anti-inflammatory properties that can help reduce redness and itching associated with folliculitis. Apply aloe vera gel directly to the affected area. It's important to note that these remedies may not work for everyone, and some may even make the condition worse. If your symptoms persist or worsen, it's important to see a doctor for an evaluation and proper treatment. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.